and Shaco, the clown, the jester and uh, the tyrant. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My Putin. name is Todd Rand. Yo, I'm going to call this video probably Putin and the jester. <laughs> and I'm here to present yet another episode of Lore of League of Legends. So, here's the lore of Vladimir, the Crimson Reaper, and Shaco, the demon jester. Enjoy. <laughs> The land of the Lauren is riddled with just... relics in the past centuries. Okay. Oh, look at this. I didn't even realize Shadow Isles in this map is on the top left, but Shadow Isles is supposed to be at the bottom right. Yeah, there's another massive change I just when noticed. Doom wars have been tearing this land apart. Ruined strongholds and hideouts, mysterious statues and ancient temples can be found in every corner of the continent. From Freljord to the plague jungles of the south. Some of them have been built in plain sight to scare away any unwanted attention. Mm -hmm. Others, however, are well hidden, and their location is known only to very few. There is one temple in the Great Barrier Mountains between the lands of Noxus and the Tempest Flats. It is a mysterious place that seems like it has been long forgotten and abandoned by any light. It is a place where secrets of ancient terrifying sorcery are held, at home to the cult of Hemomancers, the Blood Mages. Hmm. The temple often seems like it was covered in dark clouds, and many bodies of unfortunate travelers can be found all around the courtyard. Vladimir was still a young boy when he was first found his way to the temple. <laughs> and a lot has changed. The old Vladimir skin. Oh my god, that fucking plant on his head. Jesus Christ. Yo, he's he has Oddish on his head. That's what he has on his head. Changed since then. He was 15 years old. While he grabbed a hunting knife and slain two of his close friends who had been traveling with him. <laughs> he knew no reason why he would do that. So but somewhere deep inside him, he felt good. <laughs> he felt great about what he'd just done. He stood above their bodies. This is why I have trust issues. People like Vladimir. <laughs> That's why I have trust issues. Watching as the last drops of their blood had been leaking out onto the earth. They wanted to scream, but their throats had been cut open. It was strangely fascinating for Vladimir. He realized that he could not only hold his urges any longer, and returning home would mean that he would be punished sooner or later. So, left. He instead decided to run south, not knowing where he was headed, south. and he got Middle lost. West? For a few days, he'd been traveling with no set goal until he reached the mountains. He was not, however, in a part of mountains he had ever visited. He was standing in a shade of some great structure on the mountaintop right at the entry onto the mountain path. Right next to him, he could see a dead corpse that someone had placed upon a steel pike. Feeling the raising sense of dread, he looked up just to notice more corpses, just like that one. They were marking the trail. Vladimir was inexplicably fascinated with the place that he could reach by following the trail. And with no hesitation, he has done just that. He climbed atop the mountain and boldly entered the ancient temple. Exploring its halls brought him even more surprises. The temple looked dead and abandoned, but it was definitely visited by someone quite recently. The impending feel of death, however, was rather accurate. When he entered the great hall, he noticed numerous dead corpses hanging from the ceiling, their blood leaking down onto the floor, creating red pools. Between those corpses stood an old monk with pale, sickly skin and blood-red eyes. The monk has recognized potential with Vladimir. His mind was a dark place, but he felt no remorse. The monk recognized the sinister craving that Vladimir had. He was just like the monk himself and every hemomancer before him. Vladimir blood had monk? been trained in the art of long forgotten sorcery that allowed him to control and manipulate the blood of himself and those around him. He's been taught to drain life energy from it. And after years of training, he'd been allowed to pass his final lesson where he was to drain every single drop of blood from his old master. Vladimir did not hesitate. He felt no connection with the old man other than respect for his power. Okay. He drained energy of the monk until only a withered corpse was left. His blood had been fused with the blood of Vladimir, and with that, he's become one with every hemomancer who has ever lived on Valorin. Okay. His master was now gone. That's actually cool that they called him on hemomancer. And Vladimir was the only one who was to guard the secrets of his craft from unwanted eyes. With his master gone, however, he felt lonely. 
His only purpose in life was. This is the best Vlad skin by far in the game. It's one of the best skins in the game, regardless. <laughs> it's just such a cool skin. To complete his training, and he'd achieved that. But there was nothing else he could do. Feasting upon passing travelers was not the most exciting of lives, and Vladimir was certainly hoping for something more. He's returned. I tr I want to main Vladimir for so long, but like I just, it's just so not my game style, because it's literally like hit from afar kind of thing and like wait for your pull to get in and pull takes forever like to get back up it's like 20 seconds or some shit so it's like most of it you're just queuing like crazy turned to noxus and demanded the high command to introduce him into the league of legends as their representative it was his homeland and vladimir needed a better proving grounds valoran's best proving grounds vladimir considers death beautiful pleasant and necessary not his own death. <laughs> it's like other people's death. He's not afraid of it. That would make him a psychopath in the eyes of many people. No. no. With Shaco, the case is even not worse. He doesn't consider death to be pretty in any way, nor is it needed. He instead thinks that it's ridiculous. <laughs> He's homicidal jester. He plays his tricks until someone dies. And then Shaco is the one laughing. What Shaco is, however, is a big mystery. He could be a demon summoned to this world by the League to serve as their puppet. Some say that he comes from the world of shadows and insanity that makes Rune Terra's most vicious murderers look like the least creative people in the world. Others like to think that Shaco as an assassin who loved his job so much that it made him insane. Now he wanders around the Valoran to perpetrate his killing joke on those who he thinks fitting. I don't know why, I'll, I'm pretty sure, I thought he's from Noxus, to be honest. Or was it from Valoran? Oh. Others think that Shaco is not a living being. He's just a physical form that's been created to manifest humanity's darkest urges and show everyone how terrible they are. That could be the case, but there is no proof. The just Jester himself find confirms him. all those stories. Or just some of them. Or even perhaps not. Well, you can never, as far as I remember from the journals, you could never even like, you couldn't, they couldn't capture Shaco, they couldn't, like, they couldn't identify him, like, he was never there. It's like, you would only know about Shaco after the fact, and like, after the fact means someone's already dead, right? As far as I know, like, the officials in the journal don't even have like a good depiction of Shaco. That depends on who he talks to. It would seem that he is another version of his story for every single one of his victims. This he doesn't remember. No matter what Shaco's true origin story might be, he's proven to be a deadly assassin who has learned a number of tricks that make his work easier. He's cunning and skilled, able to disappear in plain sight and prevent his opponents from chasing him down. He's been known for his daring escapes that he had to perform on numerous occasions when city-states governments were not exactly satisfied with someone brutally murdering their citizens. No one can fully understand why summoners did not slay Shaco, but instead allowed him to be part of the League. Like many champions who are currently part of the organization, he is unstable, unpredictable, and is not fully possible to control him. And yet summoners seem to love the risk that comes from cooperating with Shaco. The reasons why the Jester agrees for all that are just as mysterious as his story. The Jester can be seen on many occasions, and yet he is shunned by his fellow champions. For some reason, clear to anyone who did not lose his sanity, they prefer not to get too close to the Jester. They do not want to give him any opportunities to tell of his killing joke. Not many summoners are bold enough to cooperate with Shaco either. He seems to be the most popular amongst power-hungry summoners of Zorn and Noxus. Since he'd entered the League, Shaco is now protected from city-state governments who would like to get rid of him. And he functions in the grey area. He's become a dark celebrity of sorts. Some even consider him- How do you call that a grey area, bro? That's not a grey area. It's not like he's going after murderers. <laughs> it's just a fucking- It's just a fucking murderer just kills at random because it's funny. To be a role model. That sounds a bit unnerving, but Shaco mm. does not support his followers in any way. He does not need, nor does he want them. Yeah, he would kill his followers too. And unfortunately, this is all we've prepared for you this time around. If you've enjoyed <laughs> this video, please express by pressing that like button. 
and leaving your feedback in the comment section oh below. my lord bro you could add this to one of your Katarina favorites if you enjoyed it and share it around of course yeah Caspia is also Noxus right all right that, that's that's the one yeah uh the Vlad one was pretty cool actually I didn't know he was a complete psychopath I knew he was like yeah I get the blood magic and stuff but it's like I didn't know he just out of nowhere decide to kill his two friends he's traveling with for no fucking reason other than just like wanting to <laughs> it's, like, it's like trust issues all over again but yeah anyways yeah that's the that's the video all right don't have much to say about this one there's not like these are not overly complex characters you know it's like they don't really have they're kind of like they kill because they like killing it's not much else to it i guess yeah all right, let's go to the next one.